President Mnangagwa is still one of those relics of the past because he's the one who worked with President Mugabe as personal assistant for 56 years or so. Mr. Mnangagwa is paying lip service to issues of reforms, to issues of a free and fair election. The whole process is disputed. We are not agreed on who prints the ballot paper, where it is going to be printed, the security of the ballot. We are not agreed on the biometric voter registration process. We are not agreed in terms of how SADC, South Africa in particular, the AU, and of course the UN are going to do the underwriting of the election in the context of previous disputed elections. We are not agreed. Coming back to, to you and your vision, Vice President uh, Chiwanga called you illegitimate. He said you were immature young. He was criticizing your vision for a new Zimbabwe. What do you expect from a man who is illegitimate himself? Who elected him to be vice president of Zimbabwe? Let's move on to your comment about the Chinese investment within Zimbabwe. A couple of days ago, you weren't convinced about Chinese investment, saying that it didn't benefit the country. Do you still stick by that comment? Well, I must say that I don't know where that is coming from. My comments are very clear. I say that once the MDC gets into government, we are going to have a review and an audit of all the deals that have been signed, in particular those that have been signed by countries such as China or any other country, will have to look at the value, whether it is a win-win situation for the people of Zimbabwe. Are you convinced at the moment with a vice president who is uh, currently challenging your party, wanting to come back into the party, that the Movement for Democratic Change is a strong, united party very to take strong. on, to take on a President Menangagwa's... Very, very strong, I can assure you. Just wait for the election. You will see how strong we are.